Hey y'all, what is going on and welcome back to another Ghost of Tsushima video. But for many of you, this might be your first time here. With Ghost of Tsushima coming to PC, I know there's going to be a lot of new players playing not only Ghost, but Ghost of Tsushima Legends. Now, before you jump into Legends, you might have a little bit of questions on which Ghost you should unlock first. This video is going to be specifically centered around that point exactly. I'm going to go through each of the Ghosts and I'm going to explain exactly what they do. Now, it might seem a little self-explanatory, but there are some extra things that you might want to know. Lastly, I will also show you guys the build that I currently have selected on those ghosts. So you have something to work towards. So when you're playing, you know which items to pick up. So feel free to take notes. Feel free to take screenshots. If y'all like this video, please be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If not, it's all good. We love y'all anyway. Let's get to the video. y'all right, what is going on so first things first we're just gonna go right down the line here okay i want you guys to know that this is my playstation that i'm playing on right now so it does have all my end game builds and end game gear and end game techniques so for those of you guys that are just starting off you're not gonna have all of these things but you are gonna be able to see what you can work for and kind of the things that are best in slot that you can kind of check out for future reference so first things first like i said we're going down the line we're gonna be sec checking out the samurai here now the samurai guys the samurai is gonna be that one that goes in does the nitty-gritty gets the job done and is kind of basically the tank the beast does a ton of damage and basically disrupts all the enemies and it's actually insane and it's a very fun play style so if you are that kind of player super aggro i would highly suggest unlocking the samurai first because you know this video is to see who you want to unlock first now the samurai is super aggro like i said but it does take a lot of finesse to be able to get good at that for example let's check out some of the techniques that i have right here okay obviously when you're starting off your techniques are going to be very 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 slim you're only going to have you know one and then you're going to be able to just go down the list and unlock them little by little so i can show you the techniques that i currently have now so you know which to look forward to for the future reference now right now i'm using raging flame and basically as you can see right here heavy attacks with this blade essentially also ignite nearby enemies so it kind of spreads fire and does extra damage you have a legendary slot right here which later on you will see that you can unlock a bunch of legendary best in slot items and this allows you to have more than one legendary item because by standard you can have one and if you have within your techniques you have an extra legendary perk then you can also unlock an extra one so you can use two for your build for the second row perk number two you're going to see i'm using resolve increase now as you can see when you first start the game you will have three little resolve slots having resolve increase obviously does just that it increases your resolve which will allow you to get your ultimate and allow you to use your resolve which is essentially like currency to use any other different techniques that you want to use depending on how you set up your build lastly i have hachiman's frenzy hachiman's frenzy does allow the samurai's attack to do two extra strikes instead of the normal three for his ultimate now if you look right here this is the gear setup that i have like i said these are end game builds so you know what to look forward to as of right now i have masamana's edge which is a legendary sword i have forbidden medicine which you will be able to get later on, but it is a bomb pack and you'll be able to unlock bomb packs for the samurai. Now, if you want a bomb pack, you are going to need to play as a Ronin. So, you know, you kind of need to, you know, get some time in the game in order to get this kind of a build. Um, for the charm, I am using a defense charm. For my ghost weapons, the first one I am using a sticky bomb and the second one I'm using a healing gourd. Now, you guys can see how I have the gear set up and, you know, go off of what I currently have. Now, I do have a lot more in-depth builds if you want something that's super in-depth uh for each class it's going to be linked down below in the video so if you want to check that out feel free next guys is going to be my all-time favorite it's going to be the hunter the hunter is the ranged demon i'm talking like the hunter gets the work done from afar you almost just feel insane on the battlefield so if you're that type of player that loves to do ranged combat i would highly suggest that the hunter would be the one that you unlock first now don't get me wrong you can have some insane sword play with the hunter you know obviously the hunter's abilities are going to be geared toward range so keep that in mind when you are choosing your very first ghost to unlock if you check out the techniques that i am using here my class ability that i'm using is explosive arrow when you start off you will start off with staggering arrow but once you move forward you will be able to get explosive arrow mixed with the legendary bow that i have that i will show you here in a second uh basically this right here is absolutely insane so i would highly suggest a uh explosive arrow but like i said guys these builds are just 
suggest going to be something that you can work towards. Obviously, you always want to make them your own and something that you're comfortable with. The beauty of this game is that you can literally do anything that you want. Uh, perk slot number one, I have legendary to give me that extra legendary item. For perk number two, I have status damage, which increases my status effects, aka the fire that I have, along with my explosive arrow, by 25%. You'll notice a lot of the builds that I use synergize with techniques and items. Like I said, they will all be linked down below for more in-depth builds. Uh, lastly, for perk number three, I have all seeing eye, which allows two extra enemies be attacked by the bow when I use my ultimate instead of the normal three. As for my gear, guys, my katana, I am using a water katana, which is basically my favorite because the shield enemies are easily the most annoying and having a water katana breaks the shields by using the slashes. It just makes your life so much easier. Secondly, I have a skipping stone bow. Now, the skipping stone bow is probably the best legendary in the entire game. Essentially, a headshot, it makes your arrow ricochet to the head of an enemy nearby. Uh, it, it's very hard to get. Sometimes you get lucky and you get it early. Me, I didn't get so lucky. I was around rank 80 with my hunter before I even saw a skipping stone bow. So, you know, you could get lucky. Not so much. <laughs> Next, my charm is my hunter charm, which I mean, for me, that's like one of my best charms. You're going to see so many different charms, so many different items that you can mess around with. But uh, that's my best in slot for my play style. Next, I have a spirit kunai. Spirit kunai is probably second best uh, legendary weapon in the entire game. You get one of these bad boys, do not ever let it go. <laughs> I don't care how many you have. Hoard them, motherfuckers. Hoard them. Okay. The spirit kunai is absolutely amazing. Basically, every kill with the spirit kunai lowers your cooldowns by 10 seconds. So it's, it's just it's just nuts. It's just nuts. Okay. The smoke bomb is, you know, it speaks for itself. I do keep munitions on my smoke bomb so I can get those arrows whenever I throw a smoke bomb down. But we'll have a more in depth video link down below. Next, guys, is the Ronin. Are you a support character? Do you love being on the battlefield and making sure that your teammates stay alive then the ronin might be for you the ronin is going to be your healer you know don't get me wrong ronins are absolute beasts on the battlefield as well you can build all of these characters guys any way you want however the ronin starts off being healer and you can literally make him a fire god he's absolutely insane but uh, as a support character you might want to unlock this one first for the healing effects and you know to res your enemies whenever they do go down because uh, people going down is inevitable and having a ronin on your team is super super incredibly helpful so if you're a support definitely check out getting a ronin first the techniques i'm using right here is flaming roar so this is going to be my fire ronin that i have right here honestly all of these are really good for the ronin if you're a healer i would highly suggest healing incense and now the first slot that i have right here is enhanced ghost weapon basically it increases the damage by all your ghost weapons by 50 percent no other class has this so your spirit kunai and your kunai just in general and your bombs all that stuff is absolutely madness 50 percent you do so much damage as a ronin it's absolutely absolutely insane next i have a resolve increase for my second perk and lastly i have a legendary to have an extra slot for another legendary item as for my gear i have a water katana i have a bomb pack i have heavenly rebuke so for heavenly rebuke when you do a heavenly strike just like you'll see within the story mode there's a 50 percent chance that a lightning strike will happen and it'll strike an enemy nearby and it does grant heavenly strike which if you hit triangle and circle at the same time you will be able to perform a heavenly strike i also have have a spirit kunai which you guys know it, it decreases with each kill your cooldowns by 10 seconds and then i have a smoke bomb lastly guys and this is the character that i actually unlocked first on my first playthrough is the assassin if you're stealthy and you love the crazy up close combat but they don't even know where you're at in the first place if you play like an absolute shinobi this ghost is it's for you unlock the assassin first so much fun i would also say that this is probably the most beginner friendly class because you know being an assassin it's hard for the enemies to see you and i really think that this is the most fun class that you can play starting off and learning all the other classes if you check out my abilities right here my class ability is toxic vanish i would highly suggest using this one but you know group vanish and refreshing vanish to heal is also very fun too all these builds are simply just you know a baseline for you guys to build on and uh work towards so perk one i have assassin unleashed which decreases your cooldown ability by 15 seconds which allows you to go into that vanish mode a whole hell of a lot more 
anymore. Perk number two is going to be Deadly Nightshade. You need this, you need this, you need this if you are going to be using the Poison class ability for your Vanish. Poison also damages the enemy's health, not just their shield, which it normally does only damage shield unless you have this perk right here. The Assassin is the only class that has this specific perk, which allows Poison to also damage health, which yeah, you synergize with a lot of other things. You're going to be doing insane damage. Lastly, and you can see for all my ghosts, I do have a legendary perk three so I can have um, another gear item. Now I have a water katana right here for my very first slot. And like I said, it's good against those shield guys, which to me I find be the most annoying because they're so aggro and they're so brute right in your face. And uh, forbidden medicine, which basically I didn't, I didn't explain forbidden medicine for the samurai, but basically forbidden medicine is whenever you throw a bomb down on the ground, it emits a healing aura that does heal yourself and your teammates. So it does very good at helping your teammates just as if you know you were kind of like a little off heal for your ronin uh, i have the assassin charm which for me is always going to be best in slot for my assassin and i have a spirit kunai which you guys already know what that does lastly i have a smoke bomb which also has munitions which you kind of need if you have a bomb pack anyways guys that's going to be it for me i hope that this video helped you choose which ghost that you're going to unlock first and uh, i hope it gave you a little bit of insight on uh the different types of ghosts the different types of abilities that you can have here within legends mode now you know i did show you guys you know a lot of different builds that i currently have right now like i did say before if you look down below there's going to be links of more in-depth builds for every single class i've been playing this game for quite some time probably longer than i'd care to admit but i've loved every second of it so you know i kind of have a little bit of knowledge on this stuff these builds are not by any means the best builds that you can ever have right my builds have never been that my builds have always been to help people like yourselves kind of you know choose a build and then build on that build if that makes sense you know i want you guys to make it your own the beauty of this game is you can play however you want and so i just kind of want to give you guys a little guide a little base on where to start so let me know what you think down below all the ogs feel free to chime in and add some hints and pointers down below too and all you new people welcome to ghost of tsushima if you like this video please be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed if not it's all good we love y'all anyway also feel free to join the discord which includes a lot of other ghost of tsushima players and if you are new you might find somebody in there that could help you run some trials could help you run some story mode run some survival you never know but i catch you on the next one much love baby peace